All spindle guides are function tested before they are delivered. All fuel valves are assembled and function tested before leaving the workshop. Overhauled fuel valves or fuel valves taken from stock must be function tested before they are mounted in the cylinder cover. The pressure testing pump is equipped with pressure gauges for displaying opening pressure, working pressure, venting function and air inlet pressure. Position the fuel valve in the test rig. For guidance on how to operate the pressure testing pump, refer to the supplier's special instructions. To ensure that over tightening has not taken place, check that the locking and indicating pins have not been bent or broken off. In the event of over tightening, mount a new spring housing. A very important element in the correct functioning of the fuel valve both during testing and in service, is ensuring that the spring housings apply the predetermined tightening force. To ensure that this force is present, a special tool has been designed to check the calibration of the spring housings. We recommend that the calibration of new and especially old spring housings be checked before they are mounted on the engine or on the fuel valve test rig. Tighten the nuts until the top face of the pressure disc is flush with the top face of the spring housing. Fuel valves are available in three different designs depending on engine size. Refer to your instruction book to see which valve is to be used on your engine. The pressure testing procedure is the same for all types of valve. Slowly fill the valve by pumping at low pressure until fuel oil, without air bubbles, flows from the fuel oil return pipe. Raise the pressure until it is above the opening pressure. Flush the valve for about 5 seconds.
There will always be a certain amount of fuel oil flowing from the fuel oil return pipe when the fuel valve is full of fuel oil and pressurized. Fuel oil must not seep from the fuel valve nozzle holes until reaching a pressure of 50 bar below the specified opening pressure. If the fuel oil does seep from the fuel valve nozzles, see instruction book, volume two, chapter 909. Pump five to 10 strokes to fully open the valve and to blow out any dirt. Then relieve the pressure. Slowly increase the pressure until fuel oil is emitted from all the atomizer holes. Read the actual opening pressure on the pressure gauge marked opening pressure. Compare the actual opening pressure with the pressure specified in the instruction book, volume 2, chapter 909, and, if necessary, adjust the pressure by inserting or removing discs. Set up the thrust spindle in a bench vise with soft jaws. Compress the spring for the thrust spindle to remove the tension on the circlips and then remove the circlips. Do not insert more than five extra discs when adjusting the pressure. The sum of the pressure markings on the extra discs must not exceed 150 bar. The fuel valve must be retested after any adjustment. If the quick pressure drop cannot be registered, the slide is sticking or the hole is blocked. Disassemble and examine the parts, replace if necessary. Slowly fill the valve by pumping at low pressure until fuel oil, without air bubbles, flows from the fuel oil return pipe. Remove the fuel oil return pipe and block the outlet hole with a gasket and a plug screw. Increase the pressure to about 100 bar and move the control handle to the closed position. The pressure should now remain at 100 bar. If oil leaks at the union nut, replace the O-ring seal of the valve head. If oil leaks at the lower end of the valve, replace the O-ring seal on the spindle guide. After the fuel valve has passed all the tests, it can be mounted in the cylinder cover. The main objective of the normal tests shown in part three of this film is to ensure that the valves function at the correct opening pressures and that they seal tightly. As the injection capacity of the engine fuel pump is much greater than that of the pressure testing pump, atomization will be ensured during service provided that the fuel valve passes the normal tests. The computer-controlled injection system, which is able to simulate the injection into a diesel engine, comprises a high-pressure booster pump, a servo fuel pump unit, and a computer control and monitoring system.
Quality control spare parts from MAN B&W Copenhagen will ensure continuous and reliable operation.